Hey there, it's The Shooting Guy. Thanks, friends, for joining me today. I do appreciate it a lot. Hey, you know, if you're a subscriber, thumbs up to you. Thank you. If you're a Patreon patron, double thumbs up to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, if you're neither of those right now and you just stopped by, thank you for stopping by. Do appreciate it. Uh, consider subscribing, won't you? And eh, maybe even become a Patreon patron. I'll put a link down below so you can do that. Well, so what are we doing today? Well, we're not doing a shooting thing. We're actually uh, getting some chores done. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, I did a video when we were outside and we were uh, taking care of some irrigation problems that we had and I had sprung a leak and we uh, I, I did a little uh, demonstration of how to put a little uh, clip on there. I'll run some of that footage in right now. Put a little clip on there and, and it stopped one of the leaks but I had another leak. Then I got something called flex tape and wrapped it around the uh, the irrigation pipe and it held up pretty good. And then I had some questions from some of you. Hey guy, how do you know uh, that that thing actually worked and did its job? And well, we had it sit there for a while under pressure and uh, it wasn't leaking. So I buried it and it's all taken care of now. And man, we got a planter bed and stuff is growing. So I can only assume that it's working well. So today I thought I'd try it on our air mattress. Yeah, we got an air mattress and a few weeks ago we were um, remote and we take the air mattress with us. Uh, so that we have a bed wherever we go and we threw the bed down in the spare room at a family member's house and uh, in the middle of the night it uh, lost air. Okay, this isn't good. Yeah, and that's never fun to find yourself at two o'clock in the morning on the ground with the um, air mattress all around you and you can't move around. It was kind of weird. So anyway, uh, the next day I put in a temporary patch and it seemed to hold for a little while. It was a, a patch that's supposed to be for vinyl and all of that. And, but that night it lost air again. And so then the next night, cause we were there a few nights, um, I put another patch on for that night and I used duct tape, you know, duct tape supposed to work uh, for everything. So I used a vinyl patch and then duct tape on top of that. So it wouldn't spring a leak someplace and it still leaked. Well, this thing, uh, the third night, so let's see, one, two, three, the third night, uh, for the third night, I put another patch with a different kind of duct tape, and uh, it seemed to work okay, but uh, it had a slow leak, and when I got it home, I inspected it further, and it was still leaking. Take a look at what it was doing. It's leaking. From right there. Okay, so today I'm gonna to take me some flex tape, take off the old patch, throw the flex tape on there, and uh, see if the thing will hold air. And I'm gonna take you right along with me, and uh, if it does well, um, I guess I'll recommend this stuff, but we're gonna find out together. Okay, so I've completely deflated this, um, which is a recommended way of uh, patching a hole. Um, you don't want to necessarily have it all filled up and then you put a patch on it and then when you deflate it later on it could detach from that. So what you want to do is deflate it, patch it, and hopefully there's enough flex in that patch that when it does inflate um, it actually pushes against the patch and not desire to pull away from it. Um, so that's what you want to do. Now there's a little channel here. I don't know if you can see that well on video or not, but there's a little channel that comes out to a little hole right here and that's where it's, you know, leaking. And for some reason it just wants to do that. So I'm going to pull this stuff off. Again, this was a pretty, pretty good adhesive. Plus you can't see it very well, probably on camera here, but there was a, uh, a vinyl patch, a circular shaped vinyl patch. There's the hole. Um, this is the underside of the mattress. Something uh, we put it down on, punctured it, and left that hole. So um, what I'm going to do now, now that I got this off, give me a few seconds. I'm going to grab uh, something to clean this up so it's nice and clean, and the new uh, flex tape will hopefully stick to that really well. Okay, I've got a uh, washcloth here that I put some really nice hot water on. Actually, what I do is I like to moisten a towel and then stick it in the microwave until it gets warm enough. And it's warm to the touch. It's not super duper warm that it's going to cause any damage. I don't want to use alcohol or anything like that on here because I don't want to compromise the vinyl and have the uh, um, patch actually, along with the alcohol, destroy anything here. So I'm not sure exactly what it's going to do with alcohol or some Windex or 409 even. So just hot water. Uh, I'm not even using any soap, but uh, the hot water seems to be doing a very good job of getting off that gooey stuff. 
and it doesn't feel gooey to the touch at all anymore. Nice and clean. Get rid of that. Take a towel. Dry it off. Seems pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get a hair dryer and dry this off. Now my objective wasn't to heat the area up at all. Uh, my objective was to try to evaporate any of the water there so that the uh, sticky stuff on my flex tape will uh, will work well. Okay, the flex tape is about four inches wide. This particular uh, uh, roll of it is. And I'm only going to cut off, oh, I don't know, two and a half, three inches of it. So it's not going to be a, a square patch. I don't need that much, but I do want to be sure that I have <laughs> adequate coverage. Now I'm going to cut and uh, cut off the corners, kind of round them off. Um, you don't want square corners on a patch like this, whether you're patching your your airbed or vinyl in your pool or even your tires. You don't want square corners as much as you possibly can. You want to try to round it off and I've done a pretty good job there. And then it's real simple. All you got to do is peel this off and stick it on there and we'll hold it down for just a second. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I have a nice flat surface here. I'm going to take my patch. I'm going to peel off the protective uh, clear uh, backing here that uh, protects the the sticky part and I'm gonna do it because uh, there's a ridge here and here where the chambers are for air I'm gonna make it skinny going this way so that it'll fold um, when it inflates it'll fold around it and so I'm just gonna stick it right on there go like this now I'm told and I've seen video of this stuff do really well in um, water, even underwater. And that's why I thought about using it uh, in the PVC situation. So I'm going to let that sit um, maybe a good minute or so. Ooh, I got a little bit of goop coming out the, the side here. I don't think that's bad. Okay, let's let it sit and uh, we'll come right back. A lens hood. I've been waiting for this. Ah, uh, my camera thanks you. And I was able to get it from Amazon. You can get your stuff from Amazon too. Just use our link below. It doesn't cost you a penny more and it helps us out. Much appreciated. Alrighty, so now we've had this on for quite a few minutes. It should be uh, pretty sticky down there. Now, I know it's going to work pretty well on, uh, on an inflatable thing. We had an inflatable raft. I've used it on it before, and on that particular hole, it held really, really well. So I'm suspecting it's going to do well here. I did notice here, though, on some of the instructions, maybe I'll get a close-up for you. Um, try this on an inconspicuous uh, place before using. Uh, tape is in, not intended to remove cleanly and may damage it. So make sure you know where you're going to put this thing. Stick it on there and that's where it's going to be. Don't put it down and think you're going to pull it up and make an adjustment because you may actually damage, uh, at least in this case, um, you may actually damage the, uh, the inflatable mattress. All right, I'm going to pump this baby up now. Allow me to show you something. Go. Inflated uh, very firmly, and I'm gonna take a quick listen. I don't hear a leak. That's pretty good. Good sign so far. All right. So I said this is upside down. I'm gonna flip it over to its right orientation. The uh, Sound Asleep products make a pretty good line of uh, mattress beds, air mattress like this. And uh, we've had this one for mm, probably, I don't know, four years, maybe? Mm, yeah, about that. Uh, I think it's 2014 we bought it. It's 2019, so five years or so. And I'll put a link down below so you can take a look at some of these. There are various models of this. This one is queen-sized, which is um, fairly close to being queen size. It's not exactly that, but it is uh, good enough. It's a little bigger than a double bed. Let's put it that way. It, but it's a little smaller than a queen. It's very uh, high off the ground, which is kind of nice. 
Some of these air mattresses can be very, very low to the ground. Now they do make one that is about, uh, you know, well, I'd say about a third of this height. And uh, that's probably more for camping and whatnot. Although I can't see why you couldn't use this camping, except for, you know, if you don't have the space for something this tall. But it makes it easy to get in and out of um, more than uh, the shorter version. So that's why we chose this for those of us who uh, don't want to necessarily fall out of bed, but want to get out like if it were a regular, like a regular bed. So I'll put a link below. You can take a look at them for yourself. I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to lay on it for just a second. And uh, we'll be back in just a minute here. I'm going to see if this thing loses any air. Okay, we're back and it's been uh, roughly 24 hours. No, I haven't been sleeping on here for 24 hours, uh, but I have laid on it for quite some time. We put some weight on it. 24 hours had elapsed and uh, it lost a little bit of air, but we're going to take a look at the patch and see if it was a patch failure or if it's just natural attrition of air. It is nowhere near as deflated as it has been in the past with that hole. Let's take a look at that patch. Alrighty, it's quite good. Uh, the hole is sealed up. I don't see a channel uh, like we did with the other uh, patch job that we did. It would have a little channel that went from the hole to the uh, edge and that's where air would leak. But this has not. It's still very, very firm. Like I said, it does have a little bit of softness compared to yesterday, but I think that's to be expected through natural attrition of air, maybe through the pump mechanism because uh, that is a, a way of escape for sure. And I've checked this over really well, and I don't see any other holes in here. So um, I'm quite pleased. The uh, flex patch, flex tape uh, seal, flex seal, flex tape, whatever this is called, works very, very well. Cut a little bit off, made it kind of an oval shape there, stuck it on there. Um, kept it down for, you know, kept it deflated for roughly, I don't know, it was about five minutes or so. Uh, all total and then uh, 24 hours uh, of it being pumped up you saw that we had some weight on it we kind of laid on it for a little while put a put an object on it for a while and uh, 24 hours later it's still holding air thumbs up I'm gonna give this thing a thumbs up thank you flex tape very much and the uh, sound asleep uh, air mattress product and it's pretty durable I just it's just one little hole I don't know what how that could have happened but it's bound to happen. That's why you're supposed to be able to patch things up. And thank goodness for flex tape. Alrighty, let's flip this thing back over. Okay, there you go. It's the uh, Sound Asleep uh, air mattress. Very cool thing. Right along with flex tape. It sealed up the hole. We'll see how it goes. You know how it is. I appreciate you guys sticking with me today. Some chores that I needed to get done around the house. This was one of them. And uh, I just thought I'd show you um, how this stuff works and um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'll put a link down below where uh, you can use our Amazon link to buy anything that you want, especially one of these if you're interested in an air mattress or in the flex tape if you need that for other stuff around the house too, a reversal product. And if you guys are not an Amazon Prime member, you might consider doing that too. Uh, Amazon Prime's a pretty cool little deal. Uh, you sign up and you get free shipping, two-day shipping. It's one of the benefits of a Prime membership. You can take advantage of a 30-day free trial with no obligation. I'll put a link, like I said, below. You can click on that and you can learn a little bit about Prime. If you like it, do it for the year. That's what we do. It does pay for itself. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thank you once again. You guys are awesome. I love you all. Have a great day. See you next time. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. I gotta go put this away.